Hurricane Ian is battering the Florida coast this evening as this video from earlier today shows strong winds and rain have already been hitting towns along the Gulf Coast region. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Sophie Erber. The now Category 4 storm has made landfall officially with thousands of people still in its path. Floridians are expected to need to shelter from the hurricane for at least the next 24 hours. More now in our top story at 5. This is the live tower cam from our sister station in Tampa, Florida. Experts warn the deadliest part of the hurricane is the storm surge, which is when the storm's strong winds cause sea levels to rise. Officials say Hurricane Ian might cause levels to rise 18 feet in some locations of the Sunshine State. With the latest on the storm, here's ABC's Morgan Norwood. Hurricane Ian tearing through Florida, making landfall on the southwest coast as a Category 4 storm. Winds clocking in over 150 miles per hour, lashing the coast. ABC's Ginger Z in Fort Myers as the storm comes ashore. Our ears are popping. We are in the eye wall of Hurricane Ian. The winds have now come on shore. That little house at the end of the dock is about to go. That water, so powerful. 155 mile an hour winds are incredibly dangerous. Uh, there will be debris in the air and flooding powerful enough to move cars around. If you're in those southwest Florida counties, uh, you need to be sheltering uh, in place. In Naples, fierce winds taking out power lines. Watch as sparks fly during the heavy gust. But it's this eerie sight that has areas from Tampa to Sarasota on high alert. Water receding from the Tampa Bay, Manatee River, and Charlotte Harbor as Ian draws it in, all before spewing it out again as that dangerous 5 to 12 foot storm surge. Don't go out there. It's so dangerous to be out there. So even if you see the water receding, it's not the time to go out there and, and look at it. And you can even see the storm surge coming in on Sanibel Island. The water rising and flooding streets in a matter of minutes. As Ian creeps along more than 2.5 million Floridians under evacuation orders. 30,000 workers are on standby to restore electricity after the storm. President Joe Biden promising federal support. We'll be there to help you clean up and rebuild to help you get Florida get moving again. And we'll be there at every step of the way. And several bridges here in the Tampa area are now closed. More than 200,000 people across the state without power. And officials expect that number to grow as Hurricane Ian continues to lash the state. Morgan Norwood, ABC News, Tampa, Florida.